Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Marsman here, and um, I'm using the Remington here. I'm going to start a series that I go through the guns, kind of one at a time, and show you guys a little bit of what they can do and uh, how useful they are in certain situations, and some of them are just not useful at all. Something I've realized in this game, I don't understand the balance of the guns, right? Some guns, why would you just ever use them? Uh, one of those guns for me is the Type 25. I don't understand why it's in the game. It feels so unbalanced and it'll never win against pretty much any other gun. So it, it falls into that category for me. Why would I ever use this gun? So I'm going to go through the guns, show you a little bit of how they work, uh, how I found they've worked best for me. And here I should have just dove on the flag. But, um,. And I'm starting with the Remington. It's not really the gameplay I want, so I may do the Remington again. But it is my first swarm. And no, I don't get it legit. Uh, I get it through a care package. Uh, I was really close. I was like four or five kills off uh, once when I actually had the kill streak or score streak equipped uh, for the swarm. And I just I died four kills off of it or five kills off of it. Um, I, I was getting too antsy, I was getting too nervous, and I wasn't concentrating. So you see there, that cure package I just got? That'll be the swarm. So I totally missed this guy with the Remington. It happens sometimes with the shotguns especially. Uh, and that's, you know, being on the bad side of lag comp. So I think you just, you know, you win some, you lose some. Same with the opponent. You, you know, you always feel like you're the one kind of getting the, the shit end of the stick. But you gotta realize that they are as well sometimes so it's really just based on on the connection at the time and and you you pull off some stuff that you're like wow i should have never you know i should have never gotten that kill as well but um what i like to do with the remington especially in capture the flag is right outside of the map or on the outsides of the map i don't do it so much here because i kind of end up with a swarm I thought i should have had that guy but um the swarm helps me out a lot and it clears the kind of the middle bit, so I do stay clear from the middle uh, for the most part. But in this instance, uh, when it was clear for me, it's it's really easy to just go that way. The great thing about capture the flag, and kind of me liking it, is really weird because I'm not crazy about objectives. But you kind of get in a groove with capture the flag, and I found that I'm often winning 3-0 and then 3-0 again for both rounds. And there you can see I got the swarm. Uh, it's the first time I see it. First time a member of my team uses it or the first time, you know, anyone's used it. I haven't seen it yet. So it's really nice to see and the swarm really clears up the whole battlefield for me and I'm actually able to run back the flag in the middle, which I would never do. But um, all clear because I was seeing how many kills it was getting and I knew I had a clear shot. So you'll see I kind of play it campy here a little bit. Um, I didn't know how long the swarm lasted, but it was getting me kills. So I didn't want to <laughs> kind of end the, the round right away because I knew I wouldn't get it next round. So I just get a couple kills and then as soon as I see my guys shooting, I worry that they're coming and I just get the capture. I could have probably stayed there a little bit more and um, gotten more kills with it. But, as I said, this was all new to me, so uh, next time I may be able to play it differently. And you can see the swarm goes through buildings and, uh, and pipes and stuff, so uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm really happy I got the final kill cam to kind of see what it looks like, because like I said, I have never seen it. And um, Yeah, so here's round two. Uh, again, the Remington, it, it's, it's a pretty damn powerful shotgun when you have that long barrel and laser sight to it. Um, UAV I'm rocking the UAV and counter UAV because I don't want to use kill streaks in this, I guess, new series where I use the guns. I really want to utilize and show you what the guns can do. And unfortunately, with the Remington here, I, I run into these two guys and, and I'm kind of a pussy. I, I don't want to go kill them. So as soon as I see one guy moving uh, and my guy's getting closer, I kind of rush there, but it was a little too late. Uh, my guys had already clear, cleared them out, but that's kind of how you have to play uh, with a shotgun. You you got to be careful. You got to be smart, and you can't. I mean, you can't rush. You got to watch the sides. And uh, there you go. Uh, getting into a place where there's not a lot of traffic is the best way to do it. 
Here you'll see I'm kind of cheap. I uh, I can't the objective, so as soon as uh, my team gets the cap, I know all of their team is kind of rushing after the carrier. So I'm able to grab it real quick and make my way through. And luckily, this guy who I'm following doesn't realize that I'm behind him. So he wasn't able to kill me. I was able to get the, the flag back. You'll see I run through the building. Uh, get as much cover as you can when you're when you're running a flag and capture the flag and uh, running through a building or in a small corridor or anything like that it's it's really good for kind of the, the game the objective because you're you're able to close off as many points as you can to being killed and lucky me I get a, my first EMP as well so uh, I'm able to kind of use that and probably help out the team a little bit they're unable to to call stuff and their sites are all messed up so uh, it worked well with the care packages for me uh, I've you know I may have played 200 games with care packages equipped it's never worked this well so it's kind of gamble you get some and I was lucky to to get good stuff here and as you'll see I like to kind of clear this back area in this map uh, in meltdown it, it's kind of something that's not utilized so much um, as I found that in Hijack, the underground isn't utilized barely at all. So it's a really good route to go uh, when you're playing an objective and you have to get kind of across the map as best as possible. Basically, don't stay around the middle is uh, is the best advice I could tell you. Uh, it's... I mean, it's it's breeding ground for, for getting killed, so... Um, Luckily, I got a sentry gun. I was able to put it there. It didn't do much because we already had the flag. But, I mean, in another game, having the sentry gun in the middle there is a really, really good defense. Uh, anywhere where you can kind of get multiple angles is a good place to, to put any type of sentry gun or anything like that. So, uh, I was very fortunate with the care packages. And uh, here you go, guys. Some, uh, some capture the flag. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed seeing the swarm if you haven't already. And... Um, I'll catch you next time. I I hope you guys like the idea for the series, and uh, maybe you can learn something out of it. So uh, I'll talk to you later, guys, and thanks for watching. See ya. All hostiles have been erased. Good job.